Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how you can make head animations for bento heads using Obhas Okasin bento head animation system. When you receive the folder, you'll receive an eye texture and a BVH export script and B file and a texture for the head. What we do first, we drag and drop the MB file into the scene. Just minimize this one, press F to focus. Press F to focus. Press 6 to go into texture mode. If your texture is not loaded, uh, let's clean up here first. And we go to general editor and then namespace editor. We select this one, delete, and merge with root. And we get a cleaner look in here. If your texture is not loaded, just go in under at attribute editor or control A and find the texture and just find it uh, file path for uh, for where the uh, texture is once that's done just go into outliner and select the models and then go into channels and add them to another layer and just let's uh, reference them to press twice so that we don't select the head accidentally later and we'll add the eyes select the eyes to here as well Okay, once, once that's done, and we go to, we make sure we are on the frame one, we select the, all the controllers and then press Control E and control, so Shift E and Shift W. As we can see here, they get red that shows that they are keyframed. And make sure your key, auto keyframe uh, toggle is on. And let's just start with a simple open and close mouth animation. We go to frame 15, we select the jaw controller and just move it down. Move it down and go to frame 30 and enter 0 to all channels in here. And as you can see, we have a simple open and close mouth animations. And then just open your uh, folder again and drag your BVH uh, exporter script into the scene and then just enter the right path in here and then give a proper animation name and add, that, add BVH at the end and this part is important make sure you select the right skeleton which is heap in here under the skeleton and go to the uh, the range and select the range um, of the animation in this case it's 30 and if everything is right if you press apply it should play at least once played once that means it's it is working we go into second life we go to build upload animations and open and close mouth animations we we'll just make it for priority and I'll make loop so that we can see the effect better but you don't have to then upload and then just press this open and close mouth I'm using Melimako bento head and uh, Okasin standard uh, body in this video and then and if, if you want to make uh, animations more than opening and closing mouth it's the the idea and the method is exactly the same we can use all of these or any of these uh, controllers on this in the scene i'll just take this away for a moment let's say if you want to raise eyebrows we just select this one and we just go to frame again maybe just let's get rid of the mod. We don't want mod right now. If you did one animation, so you can just, uh, if you want to make a new animation, you can just uh, do a clean start and do the same process, uh, import the files from the beginning. Or just I'll do for the per for the purpose of this video, I'll just do Control Z to go to the beginning. I just make sure that this is working at the moment because sometimes it doesn't and it doesn't in that case if that happens to you 
and there's a there's a glitch that when you press Control Z a couple of times, and uh, somehow the moving eyebrows uh, effect is going away. So if that doesn't work, just um, and start the uh, import the files again and start start from scratch. I'll pause the video for a second and just do the same process until here again. Okay, one thing I noticed, um, and you may come across with this problem yourself too, while you're actually keyframing, and uh, you need to actually select red ones separately and keyframe key the, key them separately and gray ones, select gray ones separately and then keyframe them separately. So basically we select all the red ones in here Okay, and these ones as well. There's only translation values for these, so we just we press W, uh, Shift W. As you can see, it gets red in here, and then we select all the gray ones separately. Okay. Then shift press shift W for those as well, and shift E as well because we might use rotation values for these as well, especially to close the eyes around the eyes. So just to test it, now we can see eyebrows going up and down, and also the gray ones work as well. Gray ones are for fine tuning, and red ones are for general animations. Okay, like as you can see, it's just going up, down. In here, there's also a value of emo squeeze, which means if you press one, as you can see, it brings the eyebrows together. So we need to select this one and press, uh, go to here, key selected, okay? Right click and key selected. Well, actually, of course, we need to go to the, just uh, before we do that, make sure it is at zero first and then go key selected, okay? If you want to anim animate like um, other parts of other than the mouth, you do the exactly same thing with it in the mouth, and and you say you define the how many frames or uh, you want to use. If you go, let's say, if you want to use animate the eyes, eyebrows, you go to 15 and make sure auto keyframe is selected, and again here, and just we go to maybe zero again, just to bring it down, okay? As you can see. Or we can actually, let's say, close in the eyes. I'll just do Control Z, okay? And let's say go to maybe a winking animation, okay? And just will go to here and just bring this together. That's the part where I said maybe you, you may need a fine tuning, just hold press E and just maybe and press uh, W and move it for a fine tuning okay and just go to 30 and then just set this to 0 again and also the red one to 0 again to open it okay and again the same thing just bring the exporter script and this time wink BVH and if everything is right just press apply and just bring it into second life open second life and animation wink and because that happened because we didn't select the hip so we just go back and we just open outliner and we select the skeleton hip apply happens go back to second life again and animation wink and well maybe in this case I won't do the loop so it will happen only once and close and open <coughs> okay even though we close like you know like that fully and it changes uh, from head to head, from shape to shape. 
So it's very much trial and error. Let's say in this case, the effect is very subtle, too, too, sm too small. And so we just go back, we go to uh, frame 15 again. And we bring this down even further. Even though it would look we weird in here, but it it will probably look better in Second Life, okay? Let's just do it again. Just we we'll select the hip and apply and just animation wink. And I want to do the loop and upload. We'll just do um reset skeleton animations, okay? And wink. As you can see, it is much better. You can do probably further refine and even close in more. If you want to just uh, create pauses, not just animations, in that case, instead of going 15 frames, you just go to second frame. So uh, let's say you want to do closed eyes and sleep in pause. In that case, and um, I'll just again control Z so we don't have the keyframes in here. Okay. Just go to um, frame sec 2, okay? Just uh, bring this down, bring this down too, okay? And uh, even maybe further so it would be completely closed, okay? And then we'll just go instead of frame 30, we'll say frame 2, 1 to 2, and then we'll say sleeping, sleeping pose. Say apply and open second life. Again, we didn't select the hip, need to select hip. Well, um, export again animation sleep impulse in this case we need to make it loop for for the poses and then there you go can I'll show you the which other parts you can animate just close this and just go to frame one and maybe even just can animate cheeks in and out you can animate nose you can animate upper cheeks you can pucker the lips you can even do further animations using the if you want to give kissing effect And as I showed the, the jaw, open and close, the eyes up, well, up doesn't go that well. This one actually, sorry, this, this is for the upper cheek, this is for eyes, this, these are for ref further refine, refinements, and eyebrows, inner, middle, outer, or even using altogether the same for other eye as well